everyone. Guess what? It is episode 53 of Happy Healthy Meals with Risa Auger. And I am Risa Auger. And I am here to say Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, almost Thanksgiving. And also, happy one year of podcast to me. Oh my gosh. It has been one whole year and I am so grateful. Just so grateful for you guys as listeners, for you guys as supporters, for you guys as friends. Um, I just, I obviously I couldn't do this without you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your comments, for your emails, for everything. I am loving doing this podcast. So, uh, because it's Thanksgiving, I'm going to give you some tips for surviving your Thanksgiving meal in a healthy way and, um, not feeling bloated for four days after. Because I've been there and I've done that. And I am excited that this year, this year I only have to eat one time. Well, there's breakfast and then there's the lunch. So I only have to eat one big meal, which is so strange because normally I have to eat two plus two desserts and it's just this whole thing. So um, I have five tips for you guys today. Five tips um, to just really simplify surviving the buffet, the crazy that is the Thanksgiving meal. And um, I'm really hoping that they help you. And I'm also going to talk about what I am making for Thanksgiving with my family, well, with my husband's family, because for my family, I'm not making anything. I'm going, I'm eating dessert. That is it. I'm very excited. Um, we'll be done early. I'll come home. I'll have a little snack because I get hungry at night. I don't know. We'll see even if I'm hungry. Um, maybe just, you know, something small, make my tummy stop rumbling. And, uh, and that's it. That's what we're doing for the whole day. So, um, I'm excited. Okay. So first things first, let's talk about what I am making. Um, and this is not one of my five tips, but it is super, um, important. So when you're going to an event and it is everybody brings something like potluck style, right? A lot of your Thanksgivings will be potluck style. Um, I have very few friends who are just going and one person is making everything. I think that's amazing. That hats off to you, chef, because that's fantastic. I couldn't handle that. Um, I will be hosting my own Friendsgiving and I can't do that. So uh, hats off, hats off to whoever is doing that. Um, my family, well, Roger's family, my husband's family, will be doing potluck. We do every holiday potluck, and it's super fun. And during the winter months, and also at um, Easter, they always ask for my carrots, my balsamic carrots. And it is literally just, I take the carrots, the big carrots, out of the package, I rinse them off, I scrub them, I throw them super rustic style into a pan, I douse them in, um, olive oil, olive oil, balsamic vinaigrette, a little bit of allspice. That's it. And then um, I roast them for 25 minutes um, at 400. And then for like 10 minutes, um, after like 25 minutes, sorry, I, I turn them. And then I sometimes will add feta cheese and let that go so it all melts. This year, I think I'm going to skip that and um, just do carrots super plain. Um, I will still turn them, but I think I'm just gonna bring the feta because not everybody likes it, and then, it, anyway, I'll just let everybody put it on for themselves. So because feta is a little bit on the salty side, I skip the salt and pepper on my carrots, and that actually works out because his Nana it cannot have a lot of salt, and she loves them, and she takes all the leftovers home <laughs> with her um, so that she can have them for weeks. I think I talked about this last week, too, but I just, uh, I love this story. Like, I love that she loves them so much, and she asks for them every year. Every year, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter. I make them for all three, three of those holidays, and everybody loves them, so it's good. Um... So that's what I'm making. I'm also going to bring a kale salad. So it's shredded kale. It's the shredded kale mix from Trader Joe's. 
And then I'm going to add some big chunks of broccoli to that. And I'm going to do some cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, and um, cranberries, like dried cranberries for a hit, hit of sweet. And then I'm going to bring two different vinaigrettes. One is like a balsamic fig, and one is the rosé vinaigrette. It's, both are from Trader Joe's. You can get lots of different ones from other places. There are so many good varieties of balsamic. You could also just use balsamic and olive oil. Um, I just tend not to dress my salads until I get to where I'm going and then let everyone sort of do it on their own. Um, so those are usually big hits. And then they can add the che other cheese or whatever they want to their salad um, as they go. So that's what I am making. I want to hear about what you guys are making. So definitely... Send me an email, leave me a comment. I want to know what you're making for Thanksgiving. Uh, and share your recipe because I love hearing new recipes. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Um, so once you get there, once you get there, right? And even if you are not the one in charge of your – as I drop my pen, I'm so sorry. Uh, if you're not in charge of the veggies, um, and if your family is not big on veggies, maybe bring your own just in case. Um, I've been known to bring a handful of – lettuce because I know that there will be veggies and I can make a salad even if there's not a salad on the menu um yeah and I just throw it in the refrigerator and if I eat it I eat it if not I take it home and it's not a big deal um our family is pretty close and so it's very accommodating um very very loving I'm looking down at my list uh for those of you on video okay so the five things that you can do while you are your family's Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving or whatever. Um, and this sort of applies to most events getting together. Um, first one, drink lots of water. Do not get dehydrated because sometimes we're dehydrated and we feel hungry and then we keep eating, but really we just need some more water. So make sure that you are hydrated before you get to your Thanksgiving meal. Make sure you are drinking water afterwards so that you are not tempted to go get seconds when you don't really need them. Um, drink water during, but just sip it. Um, you don't need to be like guzzling during your meal. Uh, that actually sort of interrupts all the enzymes and things that are going on in your tummy. So I would say just slow down, enjoy, take a few sips, but definitely stay hydrated during your entire day. Um, load up on your veggies, especially if you're the one who brought them so you know exactly what's in them. Um, make sure that that is the most, like the biggest serving on your plate is your veggies. And I am not talking about potatoes, you guys. That is like not a veggie, especially, I mean, it is a veggie, but like, especially at Thanksgiving and other parties, you have to check out the other veggies. So don't load up on the potatoes, you guys. Um, I'm not saying don't eat them. I'm just saying don't load up on them. Load up on something green. Have the salad first. Make it what you want, but have the salad first, you guys. Um, that way you are getting something amazing in that is like a base, and then you're not gorging yourself on the other stuff. Yeah, because then once you gorge and you go way over, you just you can't undo it real fast, you know, and then you end up like on the couch taking a nap, and you don't want to be that person. We have people like that in my family, and you don't want to be that person because those people get drawn on on our face. Mm -hmm. We have a scary act. Okay, I digress. Um, next thing, pick your portions. Pick your portions. If you want those sweet potatoes, awesome. Have one spoonful, one like serving spoonful. If you want mashed potatoes, have one spoonful, one serving spoonful. You don't need to have four serving spoonfuls. Um, because there are so many good things. There's so many good things. And you want to have a little bit of each thing because it's a buffet, right? It's it's potluck. You never know what you're going to get when you open that um, crock pot. So make sure that you are having a little bit of each thing if you want it, but just a little bit, okay? Because a little bit of a lot of things adds up to a lot of food. Um, I know for me, one thing while I'm doing my portions is to make sure I leave space around each item on my plate. Um, especially at Thanksgiving, my family tends to get those the big oval paper plates. You don't want to fill that big oval paper plate. <laughs> Unless it's salad, maybe. I don't know if it becomes salad. But you don't want to fill that big oval paper plate with food and then try to stuff it in your little tiny stomach. Okay? 
We want to give yourself the best opportunity to feel amazing, to be thankful for the day, to be thankful for the people around you, and um, be able to enjoy those people around you without falling asleep because you're just too full to do anything else. Okay, so portion control, you guys. Portion control. Oh, and pick while we're on the subject of that. Pick your seconds wisely. If you want more of something, just a dollop will do it. Okay, just a little bit. You don't need. You are going to eat again, you guys. You are going to eat again. You're going to live for another day. There are going to be leftovers. You don't have to eat the entire meal all at one sitting. This is my portion control voice. Be good about portions. Okay, portions. Done. Uh, next. Okay, so we said drink water, load up on the veggies, do your portions, um, pick your, okay, well, um, I'll do that one last. I'm going to say skip the uber creamy and the uber cheesy. If it is cheese laden, if it is crazy creamy, you have no idea what went into that. Be careful. Pick one of them. Two of them, not all five offerings of them. And again, with the portion control, you guys, just make sure that you are picking what you want. Because um, as you're picking all these things, you still need to make sure that you're hitting all five things that go on your plate. You need to hit your something green. You need to have a veggie. You need to have a healthy fat. You need to have a lean protein, okay, and a healthy carb, complex carb. Um, and then speaking of carbs, Pick your carbs wisely, okay? Um, your carbs and your desserts wisely. Both need it, right? It's Thanksgiving. You need some freaking pie. I just saw a pie on my counter that was so tasty. I don't know if the Pilgrims had pies. They might have had pigeon pie. I don't know. But I want pie on Thanksgiving. I do. And my auntie promised me that she picked one up that meets all of my pie requirements, all of my dessert requirements. It is made by a small bakery um, and healthy ingredients. Um, and she's going to let me just take a really small piece. Those hit on my, my things it has to be made by someone with love or by a really small bakery. Um, yeah. And then I only take a few bites because diminishing returns, right? So first bite is amazing. Second bite, almost as amazing. Third bite, pretty darn good. All the rest of the bites, good, but not like amazing anymore. So, um, Make sure you are portioning your carbs and, uh-oh, here comes a kid, your carbs and your desserts, okay? Hi. Hi. So, um, those are my five things. Drink water. Make sure you are loading up on your veggies. Uh, are you counting with me? Yeah. Fun, okay. Uh, portion control. Um, skip the creamy, going to four, because I can't do the four the other way. And then we are... Picking our carbs wisely and our desserts wisely, okay? I'm saying you don't need you don't need a roll and potatoes and stuffing and rice and this and that and whatever. Pick two carbs. Pick two carbs. Have what you think is a half serving. If you want more, then get one more with your small. That's lovely. Yeah. With your um, really small seconds, okay? Um, desserts, if they're bite-sized, cool, have a couple, if not, maybe share a piece of pie, maybe get two pieces of pie, share them both with somebody else, whatever you want. My kid loves cookies, apparently, so, um, we are not having dessert at our first Thanksgiving, we are saving dessert for the second Thanksgiving, so that all we have to eat there is dessert, which helps us portion, which helps us spread it out over a bit of time. And um, so I told her she could pick a cookie and take it to the second one just in case there's no cookies at the second one. And I was like, and if we take it home later for later in the week, not a big deal. Also so we just I have to practice, like, right? Also if I don't like cookies at other Right, if she doesn't like desserts at the other dessert place. Okay, those are my tips. And um, I really hope they help you. And I have two more. I have two more. But you have to be on my email list to get them. So... Send me your email address, and I will send you my two more tips. And if you're already on my email list, yay, you have some more coming. Two. Two. That's right. Two. That's right. Okay. Um, I will also be including my carrot recipe again uh, in writing so you have it in that email. 
And um, speaking of high, the week after, I want to practice having no guilt. No guilt about my pie. So I am going to host a bye-bye pie guilt group starting the week after um, so that we can say goodbye to the pie because I'm going to land on my booty. I want to wear my skinny jeans for next week. Yep. Anyway, it's a chance to try the workouts that I do, try the um, shakes that I make my morning smoothie bowls out of, and um, it's only a week. It's only a week. And I know that you can do this and you will be able to show up every day for a week for you to try something new, to try something fun. Um, it's just a, an intro to some fitness and I will be passing some awesome information and I will be in that group every day. It's a private group. Um, every day offering some encouragement and some info and and it's a good time all around. So thank you. So it's an online group in an app. And yes, because you do my workout with me every day. <laughs> um, thank you so much for being here. I am wishing you the best Thanksgiving ever. Follow me on social media so you can see what all of this stuff looks like. Um, I'm going to cut this short and not talk about my meal plan, but I will put it in the email just because this is getting pretty long. And I guess that's it. That's it, you guys. Um, yeah. Uh, at creative.fit.hungry on Instagram and Facebook. My email address is risaauger at ymail.com. I am Risa Auger. This is my co-host. And we are saying Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye, guys.